Inoue Tsugumi is a 23 year old medical student at Hiroshima University. She is studying to become a physician but has another goal to become a memory keeper for atomic bomb survivors. The city of Hiroshima has a two year training program for prospective memory keepers tasked with handing down the stories of aging Hibakusha. But trainees cannot become official memory keepers if the survivor they are in charge of passes away before they can complete their training. In high school, Inoue served as a peace messenger and called for the abolition of nuclear arms at a disarmament conference in Switzerland. After entering university, she began training to become a memory keeper. She was paired with Kawamoto Shoso, an atomic bomb survivor. Kawamoto had evacuated with schoolmates to the city of Miyoshi in the northeast of Hiroshima. He returned to Hiroshima three days after the nuclear bombing when he was 11 years old. The boy lost six family members and became an atomic bomb orphan. He himself had been sharing his experiences with people. Inoue also listened to his stories and was almost done with a report summarizing Kawamoto's account. That was when she received news of his death. Kawamoto passed away on June 8th last year at age 88. Under Hiroshima's program, memory keeper trainees must have the hibakusha check the report they have compiled. If the atomic bomb survivor dies before that, their training will be canceled. There have been 114 such cancellations so far since the program began in 2012. Inoue visited the city of Miyoshi to meet someone who knew Kawamoto well. Hosokawa is an official memory keeper for Kawamoto. She was worried about Inoue after hearing that her training was cut short. This is the elementary school Kawamoto attended while evacuating from Hiroshima. They headed to Zentokuji, a temple where Kawamoto and about 60 other children stayed during their group evacuation. A priest said Kawamoto and other children were saddened to be separated from their families and tormented by hunger. Hosokawa gave Inoue her notes on Kawamoto's experiences. Inoue could not become an official hibakusha memory keeper for Kawamoto, but she realized then that she can still engage in activities aimed at spreading his story. She is also taking part in the training program again. This time, she was matched with 64-year-old Naito Shingo. Naito was six years old when the atomic bomb fell 1.7 kilometers from his home. His situation was similar to Kawamoto's as his parents and siblings died one after another.
。私もお宝のうちに、なんとかしたいと思って。<笑>お,お体の調子とか、いかがですか。なんか通院されてたりとかはありますか。かあの、鉄拳師にはいつも言ってますけど、ね。ああ、そうです。何か異常とか、一応医学部で。何何<笑>そうなんですよ。医学部の四年生。<笑>井上は。人生の重みというか、言葉の一言一言の重みを無駄にしたくないというか、生半可な気持ちとか言葉で伝えたくないっていう気持ちがあります。Nearly eight decades have passed since the atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima. As of March 2022, the total number of hibakusha across Japan dropped below 120,000 for the first time. Their average age has surpassed 84, and about 9,000 of them die every year. It takes people like Inoue to keep their stories alive.